kiss and brain with it as he said I never seen snakes on a plane. Alright, enough of that. Alright guys, what is up? Steven here. Today I'm going to be bringing you three replays. Uh, the last three replays of uh, the last three battles I had in SPL. Um, so I have posted uh, the other two battles I had in SPL. Uh, and I was one and one at this point in the season. I, uh, I lost to Meeps in a pretty unfortunate way. And then I... Uh, beat cased in a somewhat fortunate way. So it's mons, you know, you're, you're not always gonna, you know, hacks as a thing. So, uh, the next week, I believe this was, uh, week seven, I ended up facing, uh, Soul Gazer. And after looking at a bunch of, uh, SG's replays and stuff, I saw that he really liked camera up to Mantine cores, uh, and he was relatively weak to hyper offense so that's why I ended up deciding to bring and uh, he actually ended up bringing a team that Fully Cooly made for him and it was nothing like any of the teams that Soulgazer had used before so I was completely unprepared for this um, I was running a wild charge HP water power herb solar beam um, Typhlosion to kind of lure in Mantine and respectively and it just yeah so team matchup is just really not my favor I don't really have anything for Gerger uh, Scyther is really annoying and he has his Atu so I'm gonna lead Hariyama so he ends up leading with that Scyther and he's actually just gonna hard switch out because I end up going into my Caracosta and at this point I'm feeling like this is a pretty free stone edge and I'm just gonna miss the Gerger so that's unfortunate and uh, my best switching at this point on the knockoff is probably my Hariyama, and I can just uh, return with a knockoff of my own. So he is going to go into his Mawile here, and that's fine. Uh, I'm just going to go into my Crustal in before rocks. I'm going to try to uh, get on my own rocks here, but he just bounces those with Sawtooth. So that's unfortunate, and at this point it's somewhat of a 50-50. Whether I'm going to click rocks again on his predicted U-turn. Well, I'm just going to Rock Blast, and I only get 3 hits, so that's not going to kill. Uh, the next Grass Knot is going to kill me, and he's just going to Roost. He loses nothing, and uh, Fire Blast does absolutely nothing to this Magmortar. And uh, I'm basically forced into my Uxie here, it's my best switch in. So he ends up going for T-Bolt. And at this point I'm going to try to Calm Mind, because it's pretty much my only way I can actually get a kill with this Uxie. And I'm going to fire off the Psy Shock, and it actually doesn't end up killing, and I lose my Uxie. Which means I pretty much lose the game to Girder at this point. So pretty much all of this is just trivial. Uh, I'm going to return, uh, I'm just going to revenge him with Typhlosion. I'm going to hit up this uh, Lantern with a Power Herb Solar Beam, as he does not take me out with Volt Switch. But he can just kill me with uh, presumably a Banded Scyther. Because he is just going to U-turn out. Uh, Lantern is going to come back in, and uh, I do carry EQ on this Hariyama, so he's going to protect, and uh, at this point I'm just going to Earthquake again. I am actually max speed on this Hariyama, so I expected to outspeed there. Uh, at this point I know I can live one, so I can hit him up with a knockoff. It doesn't kill, and I die to Rocky Helmet. So I'm forced to go into Kling Kling, and shift gear, it's my only play. He does just U-turn on out into his girder, so unfortunately I do miss gear grind as he can just kill me. It's a combination of drain punch, mock punch, and at this point uh, the game is pretty much just over. I can get my rocks late game, and yeah, that's pretty unfortunate. That was mostly just team matchup. Um, I I prepared for teams that SG had been building and he bought one or he brought one that was built by Fully Cooley which was pretty disappointing I mean one just because he didn't actually build for me and two I, I don't really see the point in having someone on a different team and a team tournament build teams for you I think that's kind of lame um, what's the point of that um, anyway let's get on to the next one uh, this is against Teddy so at this point I'm one and two um, so I really wanted to win this week. I knew he was going to bring Malamar, uh, so I brought Fast Mega Autono, and I brought Signal Beam Zatu, uh, and I'm just running, like, basically Fat Balance with, uh, 
Calm Mind, Stored Power, Barrier, Masharna, uh, Regirock, because I thought it had a lot of potential in this new meta, and it does. Uh, it's actually really good. Brought my own Malamar, and Sock, because I really like Sock. So let's get right into it. He's gonna lead Mesprit, I'm gonna lead Regirock. And at this point, um, I figured he was Scarf Mesprit. I can just, you know, get on my rocks turn one, which is really nice. And uh, I could go Zatu to try to block the rocks, but I can't actually touch this. So I'm gonna go straight into Sock, assuming I can kill this, uh, even though he was defensive. And it actually lives, which is kind of disgusting that it didn't die. Uh, it did do a lot though. So at this point, I do pretty much uh, get a kill. So he's gonna sack his Mawile, which really kind of opens the door for uh, my own Malamar. And he's just gonna pursue me. So I can't preserve. At this point, I can just go into Audino and revenge him with Dazzling Gleam, and that's what I, I'm going to end up doing. Because it does take him out. Uh, one thing I could have done differently is I could have perhaps tried to stay as regular Audino there to preserve Regenerator. Um, but I couldn't risk him having like Low Kick or something like that, or even Dazzling Gleam not killing as regular Audino. So he's going to go into Lantern, and I want to preserve my Audino, so I'm just going to go into Zatu here. Knowing the Scald is coming my way, and it does absolutely nothing. So I'm just gonna roost here, trying to get souls as he actually gets a crit burn. And at this point, I'm pretty much forced to switch out. I'm gonna go into Regirock as he burns that too. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna fire off a Toxic. So uh, I did put his Malamar on a timer, uh, he's gonna have to rest eventually. And he is just gonna take me out with a superpower. That's fine, I can just go into Signal Beam Zatu, hit him up, force him to rest, and since I'm alive, I can just Signal Beam again, as uh, he does pull rest with Sleep Talk, which is pretty nice. And this is somewhat of a 50-50. Um, I can either Signal Beam again, which is the safe play, or uh, Psy Shock presenting uh, Lantern, just to get a little bit more damage. In the end, I'm just going to Signal Beam. And uh, he is going to go into Lantern, I get a crit, doesn't really matter. And at this point, I feel like I'm in a really good position because I have my own Malamar. I can just hit him up with Super Power, and uh, that actually does a decent little chunk. As he is just going to Scald. And I don't know if this was a misplay or not. I got a really low roll, which was pretty unfortunate. And I also wanted to be able to take U-turns better. Uh, so I'm going to superpower here instead of knocking off to kill it. Because I know that it plus 2 uh, defense that U-turn from Mesprit is not going to be able to take me out. So I would basically be able to win the game right here and now. So I am just going to superpower. Like I said, I get a low roll, which was... Oh, which is pretty unfortunate, and uh, he's just gonna Volt Switch out. And now at this point, he goes into Mesprit, and I did the calc, and U-Turn only does like 48 to 52%, right? So I'm pretty free to just rest here, in my mind. Um, worst case, he goes into his own Malamar, which, or he sacks Lantern, then goes back into Mesprit, does another 48%, and then it's fine. Uh, but he actually carries, um, I accidentally skipped the next turn. He actually carries Signal Beam and U-Turn, which I, I didn't think made much sense, to be honest. Um, but he has it. So I'm just going to call Mind. Um, basically, at this point I have to bluff that I'm Crotino, even though I'm not. I'm offensive 3 attacks. Uh, and that Dazzling Gleam doesn't kill. If it had killed, uh, I still wouldn't have a chance. So that's Kellum with Gleam, and uh, at this point he tries to choke by uh, healing wishing, because I actually run enough speed on this Audino for 24 speed EVs Malamar. So basically, if he, since he did that, if I had gotten a decent roll on this Malamar, I would have won. But he ends up telling me that he's running like 60 some speed EVs on this Malamar, which is just... I think that's a complete waste of EVs. Um, I think bulk is more important than running that much speed. Uh, but, you know, credit to him, he won the game uh, because of it. I can't touch him, so I, uh, I'm not going to PP stall. I just hit the X. And, um, yeah, so that was unfortunate. Um, 
So I, I got pretty much thrown into the gauntlet in this um, in this SPL. I basically faced, uh, other than Meeps, who I got hacked out against, I faced pretty much the four best players in the tournament, back to back to back to back to back. Er, and, you know, it was uh, it was definitely interesting. So at this point I'm 1-3, and I pretty much, I, I need to win this one. Uh, at this point, uh, Dap Blast was, he actually had the best record in, of any NU player in SPL. He was at, uh, 7 and 1. So it really would have meant, uh, a lot to win this one. Uh, going into team preview, I brought Rain. Uh, the reason I brought Rain is he really didn't use water resists that often. Uh, other than things like Cacturn, which are really pressured by Rain because it, it can't switch in on Ice Beam or. Uh, even Liopard or anything like that. And he really likes Sneasel and Ponyard. I figured that would give Polyrath chances to set up. So that's why I ended up uh, bringing Rain. So I'm just going to lead Uxie. So he ends up leading Garbodor, and this is fine for me because I actually do I do carry Magic Code on this. So I can just bounce the hazards, and I'm just going to try to keep as much pressure on this Garbodor as possible during the game so that he can't actually soak up the T-Spikes without just straight losing his Garbodor. So at this point I'm going to get on my rocks. So he actually goes for Gunk Shot and gets a crit, and uh, I'm going to Magic Code again just to show that I predicted the T-Spikes. And at this point, uh, since T-Spikes does have more uh, PP, there's really no use in spamming Magico, so I'm going to get my rain and the Memento on out of there. So since I do have the Memento, uh, Gorbis can come in and click Shell Smash reliably, uh, as I'm, you know, just going to Shell Smash in the rain and he's going to hit me up with a T-Bolt. So this turn, uh, he needs to keep Mesprit based on the fact that it had lefties and T-Bolt. He's most likely max HP, max attack, bulky set, which actually does fairly well against my team, especially considering it does carry T-Bolt. So I'm going to go for HP Grass, predicting Lantern. He ends up making a good play and just goes into Typhlosion. It's not really doing much any, uh, doing much this game anyway, and uh, he might as well, he might as well sack it now. So I'm going to actually hit the Hydro Pump, which is really nice. And he's going to choose to revenge me with Karakosta, which is fine. I can't prevent this. He's just going to Aqua yet and take me out. So I'm going to go into Manton. I do have HP Grass on this. He's going to hit me up with the Jet, and I can take him out with the Life Orb HP Grass. Uh, that was an easy KO for Base Lord Mantine. Now he's going to go into Lantern, and at this point I can this HP Grass again. I get a nice crit. Uh, it doesn't actually end up mattering, but it is nice just getting damage on things. As he is going to Volt Switch out into his Garbodor, soak up the T-Spikes. And late game is definitely interesting. I'm down 3-4, th I'm down three, four, uh, and I basically have to sack my Liopard here to get up the rain. Uh, just based on the amount of damage that Gunkshot did to my Uxie, he's definitely max attack adamant. So I'm not going to live this. Uh, he really doesn't need to get up a spike or anything. He's probably just going to take me out. Uh, he doesn't want to get encored. So I am just going to rain dance as he takes me out with a gunk shot. At this point, Ludicolo. Uh, it does Oko this, and I am just going to fire off a uh, Hydro Pump as I kill the Lantern. So that's why the crit didn't really matter. Um, I'm fairly certain that that would have killed with rocks plus the damage from uh, Toxic. So, uh, Ludicolo is just chilling. Cacturn comes in. So, I did the calc and I live uh, Sucker Punch, but I die to the poison. I need this to beat the Garbodor uh, and the Mesprit. I need both mons, basically. So, I feel like Sucker Punch is his best play, so I'm just going to go directly into Polyrath. That is what ends up happening. And at this point, I do have Earthquake. I don't want to reveal Earthquake. Um, I have just enough turns left of rain to win. I do carry Ice Punch, so my plan is to Ice Punch the Garbodor to make him feel safe, and then Earthquake so I can actually just kill him. Because otherwise he would think, oh, I can get the Waterfall, Rocky Helmet, Aftermath, plus Poison, and then Sucker Punch from Cacturn probably kills. So that's, that's why I'm going to kind of bluff. Um, I set here, I didn't want to force a 50-50 of whether I'm going to Earthquake the Mesprit or not. So I'm just going to Ice Punch and uh, take him out with Earthquake, like I said. 
So at this point I have three turns left of rain. I do get my citrus berry. He's gonna go to Mesprit and uh, I am just gonna waterfall and I do not get the flinch and he takes me out. So this is another 50-50. This is a really interesting game. This is a great game. Um, I can either Ice Beam predicting the Cacturn and then win or I can Giga Drain and get enough souls back to live a Sucker Punch. Because if he goes straight into Cacturn, he can just click Sucker Punch over and over and over and over again and win. Just because I can't, I can't go for a non-attacking move. All I have is Rain Dance. Because that would, uh, I would just die to poison eventually. So yeah, I make the aggressive play because I've been predicting pretty safely all game. Go for Giga Drain. I live a 75% left. At this point it comes down to if I can live Sucker Punch, which I do, I don't get crit. Ice Beam comes through, and I live a 2% on my Ludicolo to win the game. And that was the end of my SPL. I ended up going 2 and 3. Uh, like I said, it is Mons, so I don't really, like, I'm not going to say, oh, I should have been 3 and 2 because I got hacked out against Meeps. No, I went 2 and 3, um, and that's just part of the game. But it was really fun getting to be a part of SPL. Uh, I feel like I performed pretty well in every game other than against SG. Uh, I just really had a shit team matchup, which was pretty disappointing. It was basically un unplay outable. Like, you can't, like, normally if you have a bad team matchup, you're like, oh, you can just play around the bad team matchup. But in that case, I really, I don't think there was any way I could win. Um, but yeah, uh, it was really fun, and I'm glad that. I got to play basically the four best NU players uh, back to back to back to back and I ended up going 2-2 two and two against them which is fantastic for me. Uh, going 500 is fine and uh, yeah hopefully next year I get to play again. Uh, sorry it's been a while since I've uploaded anything. I've just I've really just been super busy with school and stuff and uh, at the same time uh, just, yeah, just busy, really busy, um, I don't think, I don't know, I don't know if I've really ever talked about personal life, but I'm trying to get two engineering degrees in nine semesters total, uh, so that's two four-year degrees in, you know, just over four years, so I basically just, I have a lot of school stuff, uh, so it's hard to find time to uh, dedicate to this when I also want to have a social life and things like that. So uh, thank you very much for your patience on video coming out and if you guys like this video drop a like, drop a comment, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.